What's up guys, Leon Sebastian here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about the first seven days of stopping drinking. What on earth should you expect? Is it gonna be difficult? Is it gonna be challenging? What exactly are you gonna go through? And the way that I'm gonna do this video today is I've got three sections that I wanna cover. I wanna cover before stopping drinking, I wanna cover the actual days one to seven, and then I'm gonna cover what happens from day seven and beyond. Because you've kind of gotta understand everything, right? Because there's obviously gonna be a build up to making the decision to go those seven days without alcohol. There's gonna actually be those first seven days, and then what happens from then on? Right, so because it's a journey, right? It's not just about seven days. Stopping drinking and controlling drinking is about a journey, right? It's about a lifestyle. So we need to understand everything. It's not just about the first seven days, right? But we will get into that. So, and guys, just before we get into it, if you want my help stopping drinking without AA, without willpower, without rehab, and you want to do it in a positive, optimistic frame of mind by reframing the way that you view alcohol, there's a short 10 minute video that I'll link you to below this video. It outlines my method, it shows you some of the people that I've worked with, and then if you think it's a good idea for you to try this method out, you'll be able to book a short course. So I'll link you to that video down in the description, but for now, let's just jump straight into it. So before stopping, right, this, this part of the process of stopping drinking is so important because how your first seven days goes is dictated by what happens before you decide to stop. So we have to touch on this. It's so important. And what I'm talking about here is the approach. So this is the first thing that I wanna talk about. It's the approach that you take to stop drinking. So as we know, there are many different approaches to stop drinking. There's medication, there's willpower, there's framing it as like a quick drinking challenge. There's 12 steps, there's rehabilitation, there's first principles thinking. There are many different ways that you can approach stopping drinking, right? And this is really, really important because if you take an approach that relies on willpower, that relies on you looking at alcohol as this amazing thing, this beautiful thing, this positive thing, right? And you are trying to stop something that was a really good thing in your life, this is gonna be a damn catastrophe. Your first seven days are going to be brutal. It is going to be extremely, extremely hard, right? And I just wanna mention one thing that, so your approach is everything. Right? The approach that you take to stop drinking will dictate how those first seven days go. And it all comes down to this, right? The approach, and it all comes down to this. It all comes down to the state of mind that you have to stop in drinking. If you approach your first seven days with this feeling of happiness, of positivity, of I'm looking forward to going through this process, your, your chance of success rate will be through the roof compared to if you are looking at those first seven days as this is gonna be so difficult. This is gonna be the hardest thing I ever did in my life. I can't believe I'm doing this. I can't believe I'm giving up drinking this amazing thing. If you approach it with that, what do you think is gonna happen? Of course we all know what's gonna happen, right? Those first seven days will be miserable. And it's so important that you take the right approach, you get in a positive state of mind. And this is why I talk about reframing the way that you view alcohol before you decide what you want to do with it. Right? You've got to see it as that thing that doesn't provide value in your life. It does the opposite. It doesn't give you anything, it takes things away. Once you're able to do that, once you're able to see alcohol for what it is, it's this, you look at alcohol the same way that you look at a banana or an orange. Right? Are you gonna struggle to give up bananas or oranges? Of course not, you're just gonna look at it like, I can take it or leave it, I don't care, it's just, it is what it is, who gives one? And when you can take the right approach and reframe the way that you view alcohol, your seven days will be totally different to what it's probably been in the past. Because I've gone through, you know, I've tried to stop drinking. I've tried to say, okay, I'm gonna stop drinking for the next month, right? And those first seven days were torture, absolute torture, because I was giving something up. And when you're in that right frame of mind, it doesn't even, it's like an orange, right? It's like, whatever, I just don't care. But that only happens if you're in the right state of mind, right? And the problem with this is that if you were using willpower, to go through those first seven days is gonna be hard. Because as we know, willpower is one of the worst, worst methods of stopping drinking. If you just gotta hold on, like you're holding onto a, a roller coaster with white knuckling it, like, I'm gonna stop drinking, Urgh! we know that that doesn't work very, very well. How do we know? Because a lot of us have already tried it. I tried it more times than I can count. I'm just gonna grit through it, I'm just gonna go for it, and I'm just gonna use my will. Because we all think that because we're strong-willed people, which you probably are, the willpower is somehow going to be related to you stopping drinking alcohol. Completely unrelated, 
absolute, it just doesn't work. So what I'd just say is that these seven days is all dictated by what you do before it, right? If you're able to reframe the way that you view alcohol, if you're able to read the books, invest in the programs, get the coaches, get the courses, watch the videos, read the blogs, and you're able to see it for what it is, this becomes a walk in the park, right? So let's start going into what happens during the first days of one to seven. Well, the first thing I wanna to touch on is withdrawal, right? I just wanna say one thing. If you are heavy, heavily physically addicted to alcohol, then you will need to seek medical attention, right? That, that is no joke. There are a small percentage of drinkers that have drank very, very heavily for a very long period of time that will need to seek professional medical help. However, that being said, for most people, right, the withdrawal will feel a little bit like a flu. You know, it's not gonna be absolutely detrimental to their health and their life to go through this bit of pain, right? It's like an exchange. But this all comes down to the way that you are approaching it, right? If you are able to reframe the way that you view alcohol and see it as something that's irrelevant, this part of the equation, this part of the first seven days, it's actually enjoyable, right? I know that sounds a bit hard to believe, but you approach it with this feeling of, okay, right, I feel a bit bad, but guess what? My body is flushing itself of poison. If you can see it like that, this becomes easy. This becomes effortless, right? You just get through it. You just go through it. Sure, there will be a bit of discomfort. Maybe sleep's not that great. Maybe you do feel a bit of low energy. Maybe the flu is not good, but you get through it because you've reframed the way that you view alcohol. Now, if you do use the willpower method and you go through those first seven days, guess what? You have to get through it rather than embracing it. You're like, oh, day one, oh, I feel like shit. Oh, day two, this sucks, I want to drink. Oh, day... Nah, if you're able to see it as like, day one is done, this is easy, this is fun, like I'm getting rid of this stuff and I'm getting on with my life. It's a totally different way to do things, right? So, so this goes back to here, right? This, and I know, I know I've said this before, but I'm gonna say it again, because it all comes back to that state of mind. If you can see those first seven days as part of, as part of a bigger process, then it becomes easy. But it all comes back to your state of mind, right? If you're approaching it, in, in a negative way, in a pessimistic way, like this is BS, I, I don't like this, I'm not having a good time, this is hard. Guess what? It will be hard. But if you can get in that right state of mind, I'm going to keep saying about this state of mind because it's everything, right? If you're able to do that, the first seven days are easy. They are simple. It's just one foot in front of the other, right? And, and, and then it's done. It's dusted. The first seven days are out of the way. And, and the important thing to realize about this state of mind is that you need to keep positive, right? It's so important. If you are being negative and complaining and wishing that it was somehow different, you're setting yourself up for mental torture, right? If you are positive, that, that hurdle is overcome. The hurdle is no longer there. It's just like, boom, let's move on. I feel good about this. I'm happy. I don't mind it. It's, it's easy. This is fun. The first seven days becomes a walk in the park, right? And like I said, if you want help reframing the way that you view alcohol, if you want to go through my system, there's a short video in the description below that outlines the method and see if it's something that you want to work with. But let's talk about day seven and beyond, right? Because everybody makes a big deal out of the first seven days, but it ain't a big deal. It's not a big deal at all if you take the right approach, if you do what I say on this channel, if you take the first principles approach, if you reframe the way that you view alcohol, right? This becomes a walk in the park. And it actually, the pain becomes enjoyable. You don't even feel it is like this hard pain. It's a bit like, you know, the feeling of doing some weightlifting, right? Sure, there's pain, but it feels good because you're doing something good for yourself. You can almost make it like, oh, actually, I probably shouldn't say that because not everybody enjoys weightlifting, but you know, like running or some kind of physical activity that's hard work, but it feels good. It makes you feel good. You can actually get into that state of mind during your first seven days of stopping drinking. Right? It doesn't need to be difficult. It doesn't need to be hard. Even though you're going through pain, the pain can become fun. So I want to talk about after those first seven days, right? So basically, depending on how much you've drank, the first seven days can be enjoyable. It can be effortless. It can be fun. But for some people, those seven days can spread over. It can go into more of a prolonged period of withdrawal. There are people that have drank, that are watching these videos, that will have drank for 20, 30 years, right? I'm younger than most people. I still had the same problem as everybody else, but I'm younger. So obviously my body is a lot less accustomed to alcohol. So my withdrawal period was, was pretty short. There are people that I've spoken to in the Sober Clear program 
Their withdrawal period has lasted for 30 days. It took them a month to kind of get out of that feeling of withdrawal. But because they had a positive frame of mind, because they knew that they were doing something amazing and good for themselves, they got through it because they had that right state of mind, right? I, I, need to, I need to keep pushing this on you because it's just so important. Because if you do go through prolonged withdrawal, if you go through prolonged low energy, boom, you go back to that state of mind, you go back to the way that you've reframed alcohol and it just becomes like this, this, this enjoyable thing, right? So the next thing I wanna touch at, seven days and beyond, is the process that you can now go through. And, you know, I hate the term recovery because it, it makes it out like you've got something wrong with you that you have to recover. I, don't, I, I, I just, that ain't for me. I never refer to it as recovery because what you're doing is you're rebuilding, right? You're rebuilding your life. You can start going towards that better quality of life again. If you get through the first seven days, if you get into that right state of mind, if you're positive about the decision, the world becomes your oyster again. You can do what you really want to do with your life. You can get the, you know, you can get your business to the next level. You can get your career on that fast track back up to the top of the top of a company or whatever it is in your career. You can get back to the gym. You can start rebuilding your life again. That to me is just so, so, so exciting, right? As you guys know, when I stopped drinking, I got into that positive frame of mind. I reframed the way that I viewed alcohol and it was just like that. Boom, I'm done. I'm finished. And after almost a decade of this roller coaster, all of a sudden everything changed. And what I did is I immediately went into rebuilding my life, right? I started learning new skills. I started learning marketing. I started learning coaching. I started learning how to get other people to go through this. I started learning how to make videos. I went traveling. I went to Asia. I did all of these things because I didn't want to focus on recovery. I didn't want to go to meetings. I didn't want to sit around telling war stories and listening to a bunch of people that aren't even my friends. No, I wanted to focus on rebuilding my life. So I got a girlfriend. I moved to Asia. I've done all the things that I wanted to do. And that's what you can do after getting through, you know, this first little period. For some people, it's going to be seven days. For some people, maybe it's going to be two weeks. For some people, it might even be a month. But the whole point is that once you get back to where you were before you started drinking, to that, you know, that young version of you, the one with tons of energy and the smiling and the happy, guess what? You can start rebuilding. How awesome is that? How awesome is that? That it's possible for you to do the same thing. It's possible for you to turn your life around. To me, that's the most beautiful thing about stopping drinking. It's the most beautiful thing that I see people go through, through working with people, going through the first principles process, the sober clear, the sober clear method. And guys, the last point that I want to make is that your potential becomes possible again. This was the big reason why I stopped drinking. I was so afraid of getting to 50, getting to 60, getting to 70, you know, looking back at my life and thinking, I could have been so much more. I could have been somebody better. You know, I could have become somebody, but I've not. I've drank. And I'm here, you know, 70 years of age, looking back at my life thinking, what a waste. There's no way in hell that I'm letting that that happen to me. That's why I was so determined to find a solution to my problem. Because I was so afraid of not reaching my potential. And once you've gone through those first seven days, once you've got through that, if you're in a positive frame of mind, if you've reframed the way that you view alcohol, you can reach a true potential in your life again. That just gives me goosebumps to tell you guys that because I'm excited for you. I'm excited for everybody watching this channel because hopefully by now things are starting to be a bit clearer for you. You're starting to see alcohol in this new way that you've never seen it before. So I'm excited for you guys that you can reach your potential as well. How awesome is that? It's, 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 it's exhilarating. It's just such a cool thing. And guys, what I'd recommend you do now is you click the video on the screen now to watch more about the four stages of stopping drinking. And there's also another video about four surprising truths of giving up drinking. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot.